Hello everyone, MiniPlays 4 x here, back with another Garden Warfare 2 video. Today, I'm going to be explaining a very overpowered glitch, the best way to master your zombies extremely quickly. Um, you can master about 5 zombies with this glitch per day, and it's very efficient. I'm with CB Robin to do this glitch, and we're going to be showcasing it. I've already maxed my Z7 amp, so I'm not really cheating or anything. So here we go. First off, you need to make sure you're over here at the capture the flag. This is the most important part if you want to get this glitch started. So what you have to do, very simple. You start up the flag. Pretty simple, not that bad. Once you start up the flag, you need to go over to town center in this area. Because this is the area where the glitch needs to happen. Once you come over here, you, you see a purple glow around you. That's the That meaning you have a damage boost. So you need to get a rose over here. With this, with this rose, you're going to be able, so what they're going to do is they're going to gotify you. Once they gotify you, you're still going to have that same damage boost as you did originally when the thing first happened. Once, so after you get the first part of the glitch, you, the rose has to go over there and start the flag. Because you can stack up this boost up to two times. So at this point, it's so overpowered and efficient that you will be able to do so much damage, you can almost insta-kill bosses. So basically, after Zombos does a stupid cutscene like he is an idiot, you walk over here, or the Rose walks over here, and they gotify you. There's also another key step after this. After they gotify you a second time, I'll show you after this. I'm just saying now, please don't abuse this. This is just a little glitch for your friends. Just, just don't abuse it. Next up, so yeah, they go to find me, or CB Robin go to find me. Make sure you go subscribe to him. He only posts shorts, whatever. Just, just, just subscribe. Anyways, so basically, watch how much damage this does. And bop, bop. And they're dead. See, it gives you a huge damage boost, and if you have the two times XP, it's really good. Next, you need to go over here and do the invincibility glitch. To do that, you need to click the B and menu button at the same time. So it shows this little thing. And then when you exit out, it'll be like stuck like this. So then what you do is you just walk away and boom, you're invincible. Just like that, you're going to be invincible. So what you do next is you, you go over to the plant base if you want to grind some XP quickly. You can't do this in multiplayer, sadly, but it would have been awesome if you could. Now, if you simply just fly over here with all your stuff you make sure you have a very big purple glow and you are invincible indeed invisible so once you do that a weed probably will let you in and just like that look boom boom just like that you're gonna start flying in XP and that's exactly what you need see watch this you see how fast I'm able to kill this boss it's because I did the glitch correctly and I'm invincible so you can do this like for five hours and get the character mastered. Well, it doesn't really take five hours. It took, I mastered my, my toxic range with it once and it took me like a couple, of, like maybe two hours. It's very efficient, the best way to grind your zombies. And also to do this, you can also do this with your plants as well. As of now, I've just realized if you do the, if you do the team swap glitch and be a plant as a zombie and then switch again, you'll be able to do the glitch. Okay. Thank Thank you for watching everyone. My next video is going to be the team swap glitch solo and if just to do it with two people. I'll see you on the next video and toodaloo everyone.